Hi, this is Kelly Connor from Boise State University School of Nursing. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we got involved with Second Life and started to explore it as a means of teaching nursing students in virtual reality. We thought this could be a very important step as it seems that it could be a great way to reach students, particularly who are involved in distance education. So when we first started looking at Second Life, um, it was just because of a brief faculty development workshop that a colleague of mine and I attended. And we became interested in looking around and seeing what was out there. In the education sites, we found that universities, many universities had presen presences in Second Life. Um, some actually taught classes in Second Life that were open to the general population. Others were more experiences. We found chemistry labs that were almost exactly like taking a chemistry, being in a chemistry lab here in a live site. We also found some medical simulations such as the virtual hallucination site where you could actually experience what it would be like to have schizophrenia. The way they did this is they actually talked with two people with schizophrenia, compiled some of their experiences that they had, and recreated them in Second Life so you could actually walk through this three-dimensional environment and feel what it's like to have auditory and visual hallucinations. So we started wonder, wondering how we could use Second Life with our nursing students. We have an active uh, live simulation center that works really well and we thought about being able to take one of our simulation scenarios that we have and recreating it in Second Life. It began by taking a bunch of pictures of different simulation labs and settings um, live and having our colleagues David and Scott recreate them in a virtual virtual environment. We also went through the steps of our simulation to figure out what are the critical elements that a nurse needs to be thinking about um, that make this simulation successful. It's not about the psychomotor skills, but it's about deciding what to do and then, and then being able to implement those, those interventions. So after identifying the critical interventions, they were created in Second Life, and we actually pilot tested amongst ourselves and then pilot tested with students. We asked for volunteer students, we were able to pilot test this, this scenario, and then we were able to debrief it just like we would in a regular simulation setting. This got us excited and then their next step was to go ahead and implement our, set, our virtual reality into our classes as a method of teaching.